out there in YouTube land. This is Jen and Christian's with me. So you guys know what that means. It's a vlog night. And if you want to hear our thoughts on Southbound, the anthology movie, stick around. I'm on a I don't like your tone. <laughs> I did not like this movie! Where is it? It fucking sucked! There, you guys can go home. Well, you're probably in your homes. You can go to something else. It fucking sucked. Don't waste your fucking time. This movie pissed me off. I kind of like this movie. Oh. It's not like an all-time classic. I do have issues with it, but I like this movie a lot more than you did, I feel. 2015, 2015. Right? This yeah. is a big thing is this is done by a lot of the people involved with the first two VHS movies. has a lot of the same directors, like the writers, VHS actors, movies. a lot of the, a lot of that. So if you're a fan of those, you might, you probably will like this. Or, if you, or you could no, you be her. Won't. No, no, I did not like this. I entered, like, I, I didn't go into this movie with too high hopes because even people who had some really positives about this movie, I haven't heard, except for you, I haven't heard anybody say they liked this. You kind of, sort of liked it? I'm going to say I actively liked this minus one segment. You, see, now most people, now Sparky is in the minority. Because but it's not, I'm not going to say it's one of my all-time favorite anthology movies, no, but I'm not pissed I watched this. I am. I'm pissed. It's okay. I'm pissed enough for both of yeah, us. Yeah, I, I have. I kind of got that impression. Oh my god! I was just. I now I didn't go into this movie with high hopes because of the people that I've heard talking about this. Even the ones that there were aspects of it they really liked, and the, and some people really went into this movie wanting to like it. It just doesn't work. And now I see what they mean. And like my biggest problem with this is I was so bored. I was bored, bored, bored. I kept thinking, when are we? gonna get to the credits because this is boring. I was bored. I wasn't bored. Um, the, and funnily enough, the only one story out of this whole anthology series that I liked was the one you didn't. And yeah. you know what my other big problem is? Is it just didn't flow. Like, they just didn't have enough meat. Like, the one you really liked, he shouldn't have been in hell. Basically, I'm gonna spoil it for you guys right now. We are on the road to hell. Yeah, you're the road to nowhere. Leads to nowhere. Or if you're more of a DC, uh, ACDC, you're on the highway to hell. Basically, basically, yeah, that's probably what I'll use for the credit song. Probably. But yeah, it's no. it's it's not good, and like there's just not enough story. And I there the only one story did I really engage. One story I was just literally sitting there trying to think. I know that actor where, and that's a bad sign when you're sitting in a movie thinking, where the hell do I know that guy from? I know his face, I know I know him from somewhere, and pretty much the whole segment I was just trying to figure out this one actor. The other segment I was thinking, you shouldn't be here. If this is hell, you're not a bad guy, what the fuck? And it doesn't really, it seemed very pointless to me. Mm. Most of this movie seemed pointless. I was just bored. Anyway, um, I guess before we go into the actual plot de uh, details, uh, what would be like your biggest positive? The, I only have one positive, guys. The acting was fine. There's some good act. You'll see some familiar faces in this movie. Like I said, if you've seen the VHS movies, you'll see a lot of familiar actors in this. Yeah, or if you're a fan of Orange is the New Black. Yeah, um, like one of the guys from that. Yeah, is or if you're like me and watch a lot of random terrible movies that are on like Showtime at three o'clock. Fat, a fat Mexican guy with long hair and a beard's in this. Who dies in almost? Who dies in almost every movie? I know the actor's name. It's right here. But that's what I just always identify as a man. I like him as an actor. He's a good actor. But I just see so many terrible late night Showtime movies. I just that's, uh, that I just see him in, and so I just uh, have d uh, given him that name. It's a paycheck. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But basically, I've already spoiled it for you. We are in, we are on the highway to hell, and that and we open up with the highway to hell. We close with the highway to hell, and then we have these what four? We have te Technically, we have six or. Whatever. One, two, 
We have five segments, but really the two of them uh, two of them are uh, two of them lead it, one of them leads into the other. The beginning one and ending one lead into each other. Yeah. Which is which is weird, but it'll make sense if you've seen it or when we get to spoilers, but yeah. Yeah, but getting back to my biggest positive, I will say, you know, the acting is is okay. There's not a bad actor in this. It's not the actor's fault. It's just uh, well, this is a negative. My positive is the design. We have demons. I guess they're demons. Grim Reaper's yeah, demons. Yeah, I I like yeah, kind of the great Grim Reaper designs, which... And they're floating, and this is probably a pretty low-budget movie, and what they, they did really good. Mm. Like, the effects in this are pretty good. The gore's good. There's not a... This is not a gore hound's yeah, wet dream. Yeah, there's only really two scenes there's with a only lot of gore. There's only really only two segments with any gore in them. So. Yeah, I, but but the gore's decent, but that'd be by only... I liked the the what, the what special effects that they used yeah. for the demons, the demon slash Grim Reaper guys. Yeah. That's really my only positive. But I have a lot of negatives like I said this this is just boring long it's a bad sign like I said when you're just sitting there and either thinking god I hope this is over soon and god where do I know that one actor from <laughs> literally the, I sat through a whole segment thinking that um and and there's just not enough story and it doesn't I'm all for big big I, I I'm all for that but 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 this this movie does not this movie does not do it well. When it's done well, I'm all for it. I think sometimes it enhances a movie rather than hurts it. But when it's in the wrong hands and it's in the wrong hands, booze and ghouls, this movie just it, it, it just like this doesn't make the stories don't make any goddamn sense. They no, really they, don't. To me, they make sense. They don't. And 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 it just seems like the one one you really liked was just a bunch of filler. I didn't care. There was one out of the whole movie there was maybe one story that was somewhat decent um in, in any other film it, it would just be eh but out of this one it the eh is the best one for me i'm okay. sorry but it, it just sucked this movie okay. fucking sucked whereas i enjoyed all but one of the set well here's the thing is for me i would have initially said the first two segments were like the movie gets better after those first two segments because I felt those first two segments really drag. But now, but the last segment kind of saves the first segment, which really leads the second segment to really be the only one. Like, I don't care. It was really, it was really predictable and bland. Uh, bland. Basically, it's just pair. It's just the movie Parents mixed with Rosemary's Baby. That's probably the reason I like that. Yeah, which I love the movie Parents, but I, I was just thinking I'd rather watch the movie Parents over this. I, I, um, that's the only one I liked. But yeah, that, that, but no, I actually really enjoyed a lot of the aspects of this movie. Is it an all-time favorite? It's not like a VHS, but I'm certainly not an XX where I just uh, am actively wanting to kill myself while watching that piece of shit. You know, it's not right like here. it's not like that. I or, was feeling that. It's not like that or a creep shows three or you know anything like or any of those really bad anthology movies. You know, it's. It's not the best. It's not even like one of those. It, I get why you don't like this because there's are if you don't give a shit about the any of the any of the things going on in this movie. I did. There's really nothing to save it for you. There, it's not like a Snoop Dogg's Hood of Horrors yeah. where you at least have the chortles. This of, didn't ah, have ah, a this fun is factor. Fun. No, it didn't have the tongue and cheekness of like Hood of Horrors or something. Which no. not no hate towards that movie. That is one of my big guilty pleasure movies. But, uh, but no, I told you. Trick or treat, this is not. No, this is not. The one trick or no, treat. No, yeah. The 2007 film, not the 80s and 1982 one and not the 1985 one. Plus all the Plus others. all the other ones besides those ones. Yeah. God, we need to think of more uh, creative naming titles for Halloween horror movies. Yeah. Um, but no, I do, I have, I do have issues. I do, I do. What I, was your biggest positive? My biggest positive is the third segment. I really love how that whole segment plays. Like legit, I would like to, would have, wouldn't have mind seeing that expanded into its own little movie. Okay. Um, the rest of them are perfectly fine. I thought the second segment was enjoyable. It was enjoyably short. The last segment saved, and the last segment saved the first segment for me. So it kind, it kind of fixes that whole pro uh, problem with the first segment. Really, the second segment is the only one I have a major issue with. I don't care about what happens to these goddamn characters, and it's very predictable. It's the only one I actually kind of was engaged with, mm. so... This is... Th th we're not going to help anybody. This vlog is not really going to yeah. help anybody. This is kind of one of those movies you're gonna, just going to have to see it and make Or it... don't bother. Well, yeah, this is one gonna, I'm going to say this is going to be one of those ones you're just going to have to see and make the decision whether or not you're going to like this movie or not on your own. Because a lot of people who do like legitimately really like this movie, so. Uh, I 
haven't been heard many, and I can see I got a couple friends who did, who did legitimately really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, but okay, so I guess we just get into the synopsis. Yeah, I guess so. It's we'll get hell. A, a quick synopsis of each of the story and then go on the They're spoilers. in hell. Basically. Kind of like when you're watching this movie, you feel like you're in hell, only you thought hell would be a little more interesting. I'm sorry. I have a problem. This movie pissed me off. I hate being bored, and I was bored. Anyway, go. Ahead, we'll go into a quick synopsis of each of the stories. The first sto uh, story, which is kind of sort of our wraparound story, yeah, it is, which is weird. Um, follows these uh, follows these two guys who uh, yeah, follows these two guys on the road to on the highway to hell. They stop at this little like truck stop to get gas and clean the blood off them because for some reason we don't find out. Until uh, the last segment, why they're covered in blood, or why there's these demons, grim reapers, basi uh, basically basically fo uh, following them constantly. Yeah. And the, and they and they just, and they leave the gas station, but then like one minute later, they just uh, they just end up at the gas station again. Which yeah. Is, is, they're just, trying uh, to evade the. They're they're in, they're in a time loop. They're in a time loop basically, and keep ending up at the gas station. And all you get at least in the beginning is that well, we did this for what was her name, Catherine. Catherine. Something. We did this for Catherine, and yeah. you can tell whatever they did, it probably wasn't good. Yeah. But you don't get a lot of it. And the one guy just that happens to begin gets out of the truck and goes, you know, this is where we're supposed to be. They're coming for us, mm -hmm. whatever. And he gets out of the truck and just accepts his fate. The other guy tries to run from it. The the demon Grim Reaper thing takes him. Um, takes and kills him. him and kind of like squishes his yeah, jaw. And back. that is one thing I will say that the, that scene where you see his jaw coming out of his face that was very good special mm -hmm. effects. The special yeah. effects were really yeah. good. Um, and the D and the Grim Reapers lead the other other dude back to the motel, motel room. that's full of blood. And, and he she he sees this little girl and he and she keeps calling yeah. out Daddy and it it hurts your head. Mm -hmm. it, it's like round it, and it, round. It reminds you know that it's saying, a trippy head dream. The movie that remind me of was goddamn Jacob's Ladder a lot. Yeah, I you was, said that. I, 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 I know that movie is like critically, crick, critically and like 99% of people absolutely adore Jacob's Ladder. I goddamn hate Jacob's Ladder so much. I think that is one of the most pretentious goddamn horror movies. Um, but yeah, but that's a rant for for another day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got very Jacob's Ladder, Ladder vibes from it and it just kind of, I guess we'll spoil this since it's the opening segment, it ends with him dying. Booga, booga. Can, I will give you this. Most of the segments, except for the third one, I'd say are pretty predictable. Yeah, they are. And then we get the second segment, which is with the girls. Yeah, this is the segment with the girls. This is the only it. one, and it isn't anything to write home about, but out of all of them, this is the only one I was somewhat engaged in. Yeah. And it's this all-girls jazz band, and they're at the motel, too. And uh, they're in this like Scooby Doo. It reminded me of the Scooby Doo van. Like, it, that is one 70s. thing. That is one thing I do really like how this movie does is every segment without like cutting to a title card leads into another like like um the the, the first segment pans out of the door room then it moves over two uh, two doors next to it and then there and then we see the object, and then it kicks off the second segment. I do like how that movie the movie kind of feels like it's I, it's not in one shot, but it kind of has the feeling of it was all done in one take. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I totally get what you mean, and that that is I'll give you I'll give you that that was a kind of cool way they did that. I just wish the stories in between all this was more interesting. Um, but anyway, there's this all girl jazz band. They're in their Scooby Doo mystery van. Uh, they're driving away from the motel. They overslept. They're in a hurry, and of course they their tire gets jacked up. And of course they took out the spare tire back home because they needed to fit a drum kit in their thing. And I bands need a lot of drum kits. And I looked at Sparky and I go, even me, and I I'm not 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 the not the car motorist person to go to. Even me would never take out a spare tire. Yeah. Because I watch a lot of horror movies. I'd be the person. Let's put a couple of extra tires in the car. Yeah. Um. But but they do, and they're they've got cell phones, and that's another thing I don't like about this movie. You don't know exactly what time. 
they're in. Like, they have cell phones, so it's presumably the modern day, but it also has kind of a an older feel to it. Like, ah, I didn't really get that. I, I did. I can see where you're coming from. I didn't really I get that I think they were trying to be a little bit ambiguous with our timeline, maybe, and maybe that was an intentional thing. Maybe they want the audience to feel as disoriented as our characters. I see where you're coming from, because every character is driving an older model car. So yeah. I see where, I get I mentioned I do see where you're talking, what you mean by that, but I think it was just, I think it was just like, uh, just kind stylistic of, stylistic yeah, the stylistic th thing, if it's set in the modern time, but since we're, it's, uh, since we're kind of doing a road horror movie of, Following, uh, following this highway kind of have to have the old like 70s style road movie vehicles. Yeah, I get that. But but anyway, they're 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 on the cell phone. One of them calls uh, um, the the travel the service and uh, they say, well, we can't find the road. And that's another thing about these girls. And maybe it's just. But then I was a different type of girl even at that age. They're in their late teens, early 20s at the oldest. And they're not really seem to be that concerned that they're in this road in the middle of the nowhere. They don't have a vehicle. You know, they're just kind of chilling and smoking cigarettes and just, oh, la-dee-da. Mm. What you else know? would you be? What else would you do? What else would you do? Well, again, I've seen so many horror movies. I'd be a freaking out a little bit. Okay, like we are so fucked. Yeah, considering we did, we watched Downrange a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Kind of could have gotten differently. Yeah, but 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 they just seem very non blase And then like a couple of hours later, this older couple uh, drives down the road, and it's the first car they've seen, and they go, "Well, we'll take you back to our house." Mm. And um, one girl, like two of the girls are okay and don't seem to be bothered, but the old, the, the one, the, kind of our leader of our group kind of is like, no, we don't want to do this. But she gets outvoted. They go to the house and they go, oh, our neighbors have an extra a spare tire. They can fix you up yeah. and you can stay the night and be on your way. One more thing about the family is they're all like super leave it to beaver, like super puritanical, which is yeah. kind of the thing of the movie. Which, if you, and me saying that probably tells you immediately what they are. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we kind of. Especially kinda, since I brought up the parents parallel, but yeah. We, we, we kind of know where, even if you hadn't, we know where. Yeah. You see this and you know where we're going before they get to the house. They mm -hmm. get to the house, they clean up, they have dinner, and they've got other neighbors and stuff, and j there's just something wrong with these people. Yeah. And they eat this meat, and um, two of the girls do, one of the girls doesn't. Because she's a vegetarian. Yeah, and the, but the two girls that eat it go, oh, this is really good. Mm -hmm. And then they're in the bedroom, they're going to stay the night and sleep and then they get sick and I'm really just skimming yeah. through it guys um, they get sick and the one girl go goes and they give the one guy the head of the household gives them some sort of drink to make the medicine to make them feel better it works Girl falls asleep when she wakes up, her two friends are gone, yeah. and they're out in the backyard performing some sort of pagany Satanist ceremony. Yeah, yeah, pa yeah, it's, yeah, they're performing a pagan ritual. Well, satanic ritual, but God damn, God damn Polanski gave us a bad rap. It was the pagans, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Yeah, they, um, they did. And, and, and they're doing the, and they're in robes. I mean, it's very hokey. It, it reminded me of kind of a hot fuzz a little bit. The greats are good. Yeah. I, I, got, I got that vibe. And they're like cutting open their hands and drinking blood. And her two friends are there and they seem very cool with it. And she's watching all this from a tree. And for whatever reason, there's a bear trap. She steps in it. And I call bullshit on that because if someone really stepped into a bear trap, she like acts like she's in pain, but she didn't have oh, a yeah. Pain level. Yeah, uh, maybe I'm being. Well, they do show the bear trap didn't actually die. They just got her boot. It didn't go through her skin. So. I still, I've heard. Yeah, it, it would hurt, hurt, but I get. But I guess in this situation, by the way, they keep bringing up the fact that they that this gr uh, group had a fourth member who something happened to. Her. They never explained that, but basically, whatever happened to her wouldn't have happened if our main character hadn't been off banging some guy in a bar. Yeah. And they and they and they have kind of flashbacks to or like. Mental fuck, yeah, mental fuck. Uh, they're, they're, basically, hell is fucking with this girl, a girl to make her feel super guilty about she what happened. She hears to her. people saying things that they might not have yeah. actually said, yada yada. Anyway, she sees her friends and she just runs from these people. And they don't try to track. You think they'd use her for like a blood sacrifice or something, but they mm. don't. She runs out into the road and gets hit by a car, which, which leads us into, into our three. next segment. Which I guess at this point, spoilers. Yes, yeah, spoilers. Spoilers. No, it's Time for the fun part. This is where the movie really starts.
started to lose me. This is where this is my favorite segment in the movie. This is the best segment. This is the segment that is directed by the director of Amateur Night from VHS, as well as The Signal, as well as The Ritual from earlier this year. We which love that movie. I adore that movie. Go see our vlog on, on it from earlier this year. I was I, just I adore cool. The Ritual. I adore this dude's work. Uh, work like Amateur Night is one of my favorite. Just segments in an anthology movie, so I really like this dude's work, and this is another big uh, plus to his repertoire, in my opinion. I totally would like to see him expand this into its own movie. This was perfectly fun, but it didn't seem like it fit in the movie at all. The dude hits her, and um, instead of doing, like, the thing that you think most people in hell would do, just go, it's not my problem, leave her dying in the middle of the road, he puts her in the back of his car, calls 911, drives to this little town that's that's far away, goes to the hospital, nobody's in the hospital, he's still talking to the 911 operator, and this nurse and this other guy who says he's a surgeon tells her, okay, you're going to lose her if you don't do exactly what we say, cut open a thing. Thing, compress her lung, put the thing in. She ends up dying anyway, and he feels bad and goes, but I don't deserve this, I don't deserve this. They go, you're right. There's clothes in the locker room. He gets, a, it's the same clothes he's wearing, and um, he gets a new car, and they let him leave hell. Very anticlimactic, doesn't have much to do with the rest of the story. I feel like they just put this in there to pad it. Bored. This is where the movie really started to lose me. I'm I, sorry. I know I you really, liked it. I really liked how this segment did, uh, did things. I took it's it more... It's very interesting how people can look at something, the same piece of thing, and get totally different. Yeah, totally. I took, I looked at it, because they, because the, the next segment will actually state that, he, that this version of hell isn't something like you die and then you end up there. You stumble into this, usually if you're a bad per a person or deserve to be there. Or want to be there. Yeah, but occasionally you'll just, it's a road. Occasionally you'll just end up on the road to hell and depending on what happens you either get to leave or you get or you get what, what's coming to you. Did you want to add anything to this segment because I know you like this one. Uh, I, no, just I just really I liked how this uh, segment play, uh, played out. I totally would like to see a full version of this maybe cutting out the hell aspects but making like guy hits woman with his car finds an empty hospital a 911 operator okay you're gonna have to do this this and this like it'd be an interesting at least short film. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah and then like uh, how we end to get to the next segment is the nurse or who the, the female voice that was talking to the demon, the demon um, who was talking to the guy, it was you see a woman in a payphone and that was her because she says goodbye Lucas and hangs up, goes into a bar and she's not a nurse or anything, she's just a demon I Yeah, guess? we get, now we get into a demon bar which I, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah, a demon bar and, and this, this one I don't have much to say, this is the one guy that has the one guard from Orange is the New Black, but which I like and I, and I just pretty much said, I was bored with this segment too and I just kept thinking, I know him. Where the hell do I know him? That's pretty much. What I like the segment. I actually like the segment. This segment decently fine. And basically, what this is, a guy goes into this bar and you think he's gonna rob these people, but no, he's not gonna rob these people. He goes, I'm looking for someone. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I'm looking for something. He makes the all these people in the bar tell him. The one bartender behind the bar goes, I know where he is, and. She gave me the tattoo, mm -hmm. takes her to where his, we find out it's his sister. But anyway, he busts into hell basically to save his sister. And you find out the big revelation is, is his sister said, well, you know, our parents, right? And he goes, well, you were just a little girl. It wasn't your fault. And she goes, no, I'm here because I want to be here. And they're dead because I, I killed them. I wanted to be dead. You shouldn't be here. You should have let me go. And I'm wondering if the movie is trying to tell you sometimes just to let things go Possibly. that are bad for you or hurting you uh, dump out possessions or people in your mm -hmm. life that could hurt you um, and stuff and like the demons come and get him and she drives back to the bar but anyway this 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 just is kind of stupid basically yeah. I don't uh, know I like I like that I like a lot of aspects of it, it I, but I it, it's not as good as the first as the third segment yeah not really and and basically he just basic and again there's no point to this they he, he, the demons take him off sister goes back to the bar it's just really eh. I didn't like and this the, And then this leads into our last segment. Where we see this family and this girl, and apparently she's going off to college, and they rent this little cab, and they're trying to have, like, one weekend with their little girl before she goes off. And then we get kind of a stranger thing where all these masks... It was men, better than... Can we at least agree it was more enjoyable than most of Prey at Night? No. Really? No, I, I really... I did not like this movie. Even this se one segment? No, I, I thought it was boring. The only segment I liked was the one. I, I did not like this movie. I'm, I'm going to go on. I did not like this movie. I thought it was 
most bullshit. But anyway, uh, they they go. Uh, the, the, there's these uh, these masked men. They break into it and they go. Well, what what do you want from us? What did we do? And uh, the one guy recognizes the masked man, the father, and and he, whatever he did, he he knows what he did and why they're here. And they kill his wife. They suffocate his wife in front of him, and he's going. She was innocent. She didn't do anything. They let his daughter go, but she runs off, and you think she's just running to safety, but she's actually waiting to ambush these guys. They kill her father and um, they're going to let her go but she's fucking with them and so they kill her too. And you know. That's, that, is, no, that is one thing. This segment now actually thinking about it, this segment actually does kind of uh, actually have a full, a full on art because I was actually reading a little bit up. The father, the reason they, that they were killing the father was because he, because he, it, it, we remember we initially thought that it was because he killed the other guy's daughter. Yeah. It, it's because he raped the other guy's daughter. Okay, but so, why did they kill, why did they bother with the daughter and the wife? Well, I don't that, think uh, well, they were, the, they we, didn't know. Well, the, yeah, they didn't, they didn't know. The daughter was just because, uh, because she got in the goddamn way. The, wa the wife was probably just to torture the husband. Yeah, but like, I think most people, if they were decent guys, if they felt that strongly, they wouldn't want to do it to some other's family, and I think they would have planned it better where they would just get the guy where the family would not, they wouldn't even be in the crossfire. I spit on your grave and look what she does with Johnny. Kind of like that. I, I just, I, again, this movie just doesn't work for me. I don't like this movie. Anyway, um... Yeah, th this this movie just really didn't work. I, if, if, if it was me, I would have just found the guy when he was... Uh, tracked him, even if you had to track him for a few days, learn his habits, and when he was... There was a time when he was going to be alone without his wife and daughter. That's when I would have got him, because they I were suppose, innocent. I suppose, but... But I guess no. they were trying to make a point, maybe, but... Yeah, they probably were trying to make a, po a point. Yeah, but I just... I, again, I didn't care. I was, I was bored, and then uh, they end up killing everybody, and then we kind of wrap around to the beginning where their demons are chasing them, and they basically just loop the first uh, about Five minutes, five ten minutes. Yeah, the they, they redo the with this. By the way, this running thing of a random like radio DJ DJ talking uh, talking over and seven. That's really our only major besides like the fact that they're all happening in the like they all do connect actively connect like one that leads into the next. But that's the only like active one that like participate in every segment is the radio DJ. Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, and I hope uh, you assume that he might be Satan or some. Yeah, I took, I took it that he was pro uh, pro uh, probably their version of the Satan or something. Also, you said they give the address the last segment. They give the address that they're at. Uh, uh they, uh, they give the address of one of the arc demons. For, oh, oh, they give the the street name that they're on is the, is the name after an arc demon from uh, from uh, from certain cultures, which I appreciated. I thought that was interesting as a mythology buff. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of cool, and 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 that was basically Southbound. Um, you guys can probably know. Can I recommend this movie? Absolutely not. It's a big waste of time. Um, the the, the some of the visual effects are cool. The special effects are cool, but. That's really the only positive I have to say. I just was really bored with this one. Thumbs down. Way, way down. I mostly recommend this. I'm not going to say, like, oh, my God, you have to go out immediately and see this. No, I don't think that. But I would say if it's on Worth your time? Yeah, I'd say so. I, I remember, like, a couple months ago it was on Netflix. I don't know if it still is. But um, if it's still on Netflix and you don't have anything better to watch, I'd say check it out. And You're I'd, into anthology? Yeah, I, I'd say this would be perfect. I'd, I'd be interested to hear whether or not, which, which side your audience kind of agrees on more on your or more. Or more on me. I don't love this movie. But I don't. I don't hate it to your degree. I just think it's a decent movie with one really good segment. No, I, and and I guess another reason this movie kind of upsets me is that there was potential here. There was some. There was some talent in mm -hmm. this movie, and I think those are always the saddest movies that really flop hard. But you, you could have. They could have been a contender, and you know, if it had been tweaked or done a little differently. Yeah, it's kind of the glass Joe of fucking horror movies. Basically, basically, because there is some. I don't want to make you guys think this is a complete piece of shit, but I just found it super tedious and long and boring and not engaging at all. So, big thumbs down for me, but that's the way it is, and I guess this makes an interesting vlog if nothing else, because usually we agree, or yeah, at least to I some mean, degree. I think this is the first time in, a, in at least in a while where we, like, fall and disagree on a movie, so yeah. this will be interesting. The, yes, which uh, is absolutely no help to you guys. Yeah, really, it is absolutely yeah. no goddamn help at all. Um, you're welcome. Yeah, you're um, welcome. Figure it out yourself. Why the hell are you expecting <laughs> to do that for you. <laughs> We're just two jerks from New Mexico. Yep. <laughs> um, who like horror. Um, uh, but, uh, and with that booze and gooms comes a bloop, boo,
the I blame the movie. <laughs> um, with that, booze and ghouls comes a conclusion of another Jen and Christians vlog. If you like our channel and um, you've stumbled on it and you like the content, please hit that subscribe button because we appreciate every subscriber we get. We've been getting a lot of subscribers lately. I don't know Stupid. why. Uh, I, I still think it's some sort of accident. YouTube's going to write me, your channel was messed up. Sorry about Sorry that. Sorry we gave you the account of Logan Paul. Well, it's not that numbers or anything, no. but it's just, it's just, we, I've gained a lot of subscribers over the last few days and I'm trying to figure out why because I'm surprised even five people listen to me, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You can ask Sparky. Um, Maybe they like you. No, no one likes me. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, but but uh, I just totally even messed up this intro. But anyway. Anyway, bye. Bye, guys. See you next time. Perf, larf.